Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video is a requested video on my art supply haul. Before I bring series of paintings in future, I think it will be really useful if you know about the right art supplies required for painting. So let's begin with colors first. These are called acrylic colors and they come in set of 10 colors. They are very easily available in the market and has huge variety of colors inside them. You can also find them online. The link to all the products is mentioned in the description box below. And these are of Fevicryl brand. You can also use Fabrica acrylic colors in case if you don't find them, both are good. You can also use poster colors for painting. These also have huge range of colors. You can mix few drops of Fevicol to your poster colors and convert them into acrylic colors. We can always use acrylic colors directly but if you think that the color is thick then you should add few drops of water using brush or a dropper. The color mix should not be too thick or too thin. If you're a beginner and you don't have colors then do not worry at all. You can just buy red, yellow and blue acrylic colors. These are called the primary colors. Along with these buy white and black acrylic color which are very important colors. You can always mix and match these colors and form huge shades of colors. Like if we mix yellow and blue we get green. If we mix red and white, we get pink and mixing yellow and red will give us orange. When black and red is mixed together, we get brown. Blue and white gives us light blue color and red and blue forms purple color. So just don't stop yourself from doing anything that you love and just enjoy coloring. Let us talk about brushes. These are Camelin synthetic round brushes and they come in a set of different sizes. This is of very good quality and I have been using them from years now. And you should also have these flat brushes which also come in set of various sizes and are very useful while coloring. I got these online. You'll find the link for buying these in the description box below. And in case you don't want to buy them, you can just buy these ordinary brushes from any stationery shop. I started painting by using these kind of brushes when I was a beginner. While choosing your brushes, do keep in mind that the hair of the brush should be soft and never throw your old brushes, they come in use for creating different amazing textures. And also initially you can just buy limited brushes like a triple zero brush, number four brush and number 12 brush of any brand with soft hair. And also buy flat brushes of number 12 and 10 and any medium size flat brush like for example number four and six. For painting bigger canvases, we need these flat brushes. I got them online. They have very fine and soft synthetic hair and are very useful while coloring. We can also buy a flat brush from any hardware shop. Even they work perfectly well.
these are called palette knives and are used to apply paint to a surface with a blade of an artist knife. They are made up of plastic and also metal. You can easily find them online. After using the brush, always remember to wash it properly with the help of water and if you are running out of time then dip these synthetic brushes inside the water because if you leave it for drying, your brushes will become something like this. And the texture of the brush will be spoiled. So in that case, take water and dip the brushes overnight And the next day, gently peel off the paint from the brush and wash the brush thoroughly. If you want me to make a video on how to take care and wash brushes properly, then do mention in the comment section below. Now moving on to color palettes, I love using this color palette because it has so many small sections to mix various colors and also medium section and a large section to mix more amount of color and it is very handy and you can carry it anywhere. I like this kidney shape color palette as well, it helps in good mixing of colors and I use it a lot. You'll find them both online. If you don't have them, we can buy a simple color palette from any stationery shop. This was my first color palette and I have been using it from years now. Always wash it after painting. And if the color has dried up, then we can peel it off by using our fingers. We can also use any plate available in the house for mixing colors or use any vessel for mixing more amount of color. We can also use any tile piece as a color palette. And for washing brushes, we can use waste plastic box which is very easily available in the house or we can cut the base of any plastic bottle and use it for mixing colors or washing brushes. Now let's talk about canvases. So this is a set of 4 canvas boards of 8 by 10 inches and they are of very good quality and the size is perfect for beginners. I got these online. We can also use stretched canvas which has wooden corners and canvas cloth on the top. And these can be hung directly on the wall after painting. If you're a beginner, then you can make these inexpensive handmade canvases easily at home and use it for practicing and painting as much as you want. We can also paint on good quality paper. I like this A3 size sketchbook which comes with butter sheets. The paper is very smooth and thick and the butter sheets helps in protecting our sketching and paintings from sticking to one another and getting spoiled. We also use these sketchbooks for fashion illustrations in a fashion designing course. You can find them online or at any stationery shop. This is a tracing paper which is called as gateway sheet and you can use it for tracing designs on your canvas. Do not buy them online, they are very expensive. Buy them from a local stationery shop. We can also use a big size tracing paper or butter sheet for tracing. Now let's talk about easel. I got this tabletop easel online. This is very useful while coloring and helps you in maintaining a better posture while you paint. It can hold a small and medium sized canvas easily. If we don't have it, we can always place our canvas on the table and paint easily. One small tip which I used while I started painting was, 
we can keep any box beneath the painting and lift it a little bit. This will help you to have better perspective of what you are painting. Now let's talk about varnish. Varnish is a transparent liquid applied on paintings when it dries completely, which gives a glossy look to the painting and also protects the painting from dust. You can also use a wood varnish, which is available at any hardware shop, but this has a little yellowish tint to it. We should always use a flat brush with soft hair for applying varnish and use a bigger flatter brush for applying varnish on a bigger canvas. Never use a good painting brush or your favorite brush for applying varnish. It will spoil the texture of the brush. You can also use the spray varnish which I got online and it is very easy to apply. I'll very soon make a complete tutorial video showing the use of both these varnishes and the right way to apply varnish on paintings. I hope you liked today's video and for more such interesting videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Till then take care and thanks for watching.